Hey, Javier here with Atkinson Fitness. Today, we are gonna do my bread and butter home workout that I've been doing since this whole thing started. It's the shorter version. So I have a longer version, but we'll just start off with the one. It's about 10 minutes long, okay? Body weight and dumbbell work, mostly upper body, a lot of push-ups. I'll break it down for you, each movement, and we'll get started. So our first movement, is push-ups, shoulders over wrists, keep those hips in line with your body, descend down, press right up through the palms of your hands, keep breathing, we got 12 of those. Our next movement is a side plank for 30 seconds. So you gotta prop yourself up on that elbow, get those hips up, keep those feet in line, they can either stay stacked or you can stagger them. Uh, and you're going to hold that, work that, oblique that side core there for 30 seconds. Next move, more push-ups, this time wide grip. So hands outside the shoulder width. Still keeping everything else in mind when it comes to the perfect push-ups. You got 12 of those. Okay, you gotta hit the other side of those side planks. 30 seconds, same thing on the other side. Push-ups again. This time we're doing diamond push-ups. So hands close together, either like your thumbs touching, you can even make a little diamond shape with your hands. Again, elbows are nice and tight to the body. Down, up, you got twelve. Next movement, V-ups. We're working the core some more. Lay flat on your back. Extend those arms over your head. What you're gonna do is you're gonna crunch up, really squeeze that core as you bring your feet and your hands up towards the middle. Your small of your back will stay in contact with the ground as you touch your legs, and then you'll stretch right back out and repeat. We got 15 of those. You know what's happening, more push-ups. We're just doing another variation, pipe push-ups. So this is kind of like an overhead press without needing any kind of weight. So you're going to get in the push-up position, but this time your hips are gonna be nice and high, so much so that you're kind of up over your hands and you're gonna come down pretty much like a handstand, but your feet are still on the ground. Then we got our goblet squats. So we've done these before. Dumbbell close to the chest, chest nice and tall. We're gonna squat down, make sure those hips and knees stay in line.
guess what's next? More push-ups, this time cobra push-ups. So hands are shoulder width apart like a normal push-up, but this time you're gonna allow your hips to drop down to the ground and you're just pushing your upper body up off the ground. So it'll work that lower back as well, hitting those push-ups, nice, slow and controlled. If you've done all these how you're supposed to do, man, those arms, the shoulders, the triceps, your chest, all they're gonna be burning out. Then we have Cossack squat, so kind of like a single leg uh, lunge, uh, but what you do is you're going to keep your chest nice and tall. The goal, and I'm not that good at it, that is to get all the way down pretty much getting your butt to touch the ground. But you're going to do 10 on each side, keep that knee in line with your toes, and really feel that good stretch, press through the bottom of your feet, stand tall. Okay, done, about 10 minutes. Lots of arms, lots of push-ups. I know if that's not your goal, you can always change it up. Try and catch my breath. Um, again, I really only needed the dumbbell for the goblet squats. You could do body weight squats. You could double the number of squats if that's not enough, especially if you're, you still don't have a gym, and you don't have any weights at home or they're not heavy enough, increase the volume. So either more reps, more weight. Okay, that's the simple way to do it. Again, one set of everything, but if you notice, we're hitting five sets of push-ups. A um, little bit of abs, a little bit of legs. So this is the short version. So let me know if you want the long version. Long version requires a few more dumbbells because we got some curls and deadlifts in there. And then uh, just let me know. We can run that next week. Um, again, like, comment, subscribe. Maybe the new format, you like it. Uh, you can hear me now. I've decided to change how I sit in front of the camera and everything like that. Um, just feedback. Feedback is always good. We'll be back every Monday. And uh, I mean, thanks. I can appreciate each and every one of you for watching my videos.